So I've been surfing the web a lot lately, as a lot of you guys probably have too, and it's been pretty cool, not gonna lie, just to see what everybody's up to, how people are positively spending their time. I mean, you gotta really get creative, so I'm pretty keen to know what other people are doing around the world, so let's check in. Uh, yeah, it's a crazy time in the world right now. Uh, everyone's probably going a little stir crazy, self-isolating. For me, I've had about three months of practice because I've been injured and kind of self-isolating. I've been, you know, flying planes a little bit, so keeping up with current events and uh, learning a little bit of guitar along the way. So yeah, check it out. This is Iago Garay and I'm talking to you from my house in Madrid. I'm currently here under uh, this day 11th of uh, lockdown. It's proven to be a bit difficult to stay positive at this time because you don't know how long you're going to be stuck here or uh, you know you're not riding your bike or socializing as much. So I've been trying to like stay positive and stay active and found a couple things that have helped me out through the days and one of the main things is trying to focus on the things that I, I can control. Getting rid of all the stuff that you can't control, like how many cases are in your country, how bad the, your, your country leaders are dealing with the situation, all this stuff. And there's all that stuff that you really can't do anything. The only thing you can do right now is stay at home. Unfortunately, I don't have a big yard or anywhere where I can ride my bike. I don't even have a, a home trainer. I've ordered one, but they are sold out everywhere. Have you guys probably I've realized by now if you try to get one. I've been doing a lot of like home workouts, just body weight, you know, like push-ups, burpees, all sorts of exercise. There's plenty of videos out there. I've used the stairs in my house to run up and down. Like last time I was for 40 minutes just going up and down and just like, you know, just getting a sweat, uh, uh, sweating a little bit and get your blood pumping and you know, it, it helps a lot to stay a little bit sane when, especially when people like us, we're used to like being outside and exercising every day. Yeah, strange times, eh? Yeah, I'm currently in, um, in Spain, uh, in bike park La Fuenososa. I was uh, preparing a project here. I was building a new line for a, a video project and the bike park. Um, the, we finished the build right when this all kicked off kind of so I didn't get to ride or shoot it yet so I decided like all yeah borders are closing and everything but I decided to stay in Spain um, hoping this will pass soon like luckily enough we're staying at La Fina Sosa and there's a pump track and I've been paddling a bit to keep busy I've been organizing yeah, like uh, SD cards and looking through, going through all my old footage. And other than that, I've been working a bit on Loosefest, um, hoping we can still go ahead with the event. It's not easy to train uh, right now in France. MTB, what back uh, is not allowed. So uh, I'm lucky to have a big playground at home. Let me uh, introduce it uh, and follow me uh, in quarantine day. I bought a PlayStation and yeah, it doesn't work. I guess everyone else is also super bored right now. There's not really a lot we can do right now except after staying at home and stop spreading the virus. Uh, yeah, so I'm here stuck in Sarbov, you can see like still so much snow, it's super cold. So uh, not really a lot of solar rides going on because it's still like super, super frozen. Learning for school, because uh, I have my A-levels this year, but they got postponed as well, so I wasn't sure when I have to write them, so I was super scared they're going to be like in September, but uh, now I'm pretty happy that they're just two weeks later than normal. What's up everybody? Annika here at home in California, and just like a lot of you people in the rest of the world, um, I'm trying to stay at home as much as possible and trying to stick to the guidelines. 
I think it's very important that we all stick together and uh, hopefully we can tackle this virus uh, sooner than later. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm, I'll am i show you, I'm chilling out at home. Got my trainer set up right here upstairs so I can you know still ride on the trainer inside. And then I have a little gym workout set up in my garage so I can do some weight training. Uh, but I also use this time to deload a little bit because I, I worked hard and long in the past few months up to crank work so I'm you know trying to chill out do some chores around the house I have a long to-do list still so you know do my taxes go through all those emails or like clean up those 60,000 photos I have on my phone you know try to try to do that and stay positive and uh, you know get stay connected through social media do funny challenges you know maybe put on like a unicorn suit or something and do a track stand um, <laughs> Just trying to keep it fun and light and um, I know this is like it's crazy times and um, it also scares me you know I have my family back in the Netherlands I hope everybody stays safe over there because I know I can't just you know jump on the plane and uh, fly back home if something happens it's a bit weird to be talking to my phone alone in my garden but let's keep rolling and I'm honestly feeling really good I just try to stay positive stay calm just try to stay active at home with what I have and I honestly feel like we need to distance ourselves from what's going on. For us it's only the events that are postponed or cancelled and there are some stuff that are much more important going on right now so I believe it's important that we all do our best to get rid of this virus and to help the situation. So to stay active I'm lucky enough to have a home trainer at home so I put a, a bike on it and I just try to speed the legs do some intervals i also have a set of dumbbells and a yoga mat and i just try to play around this and yeah just keep some movement going and keep active and just waiting for what's coming next and to keep positive i just try to think about what i'm thankful for my family my friends at the moment everyone is healthy so i just keep this in mind and it helps me to see the positive sides of stuff and i just try to yeah keep some movement going in and i believe that sports is helping me a lot to stay calm at the moment and yeah should be racing in uh, four inches of moon dust and chili right now but uh we're all kind of quarantined and trying to make the best of it um i've kind of backed off um, on the bike training and kind of went back into the gym a bit. Luckily I have a setup at the house and that's been good, keeping me busy. Um, for the mental side of things, started playing guitar more, which has been awesome. Been uh, putting a lot of my energy into the coffee company traction, which has been sick. I kind of been quarantined here and just roasting away and packaging, which has been really good for my mental side of things, just to not focus on that we, you know, trained for the past five months and here we are not able to race. I've just been taking it super mellow, um, doing a lot, a lot of walking, which is actually pretty exciting because if you're a mountain biker, you don't have time to go walking. Like who walks when you could just ride your bike? Hello Pink Bike fans, it's Steffi Mart from Germany. I am also staying at home most of the time. I'm allowed to go outside for some rides, but I am not getting any bored and I want to show you what I'm up to here. For me, I'm lucky I have all these, you know, physio stuff I can do and all these things I have to do to get back to sport that I'd be doing whether uh, COVID-19 was happening or not. I have a lot of problems with like shoulder mobility. So now all of a sudden I have all this time to dedicate to that. Whereas before it was like, well, no, like I, I have this time here, but I'm going to go ride my bikes. Um, I, you know, talked to my best friend, Kelsey, uh, who lives quite close to me, but who I'm not hanging out with because yeah, that's. We're trying to do our part from uh, by social distancing and and not making exceptions. Oh, but she's my best friend. Oh, but she lives right there. Like nothing. It's just like no. Just trying to self isolate and uh, encourage people to stay inside as much as they can. Uh, self isolate when you can. But um, in the meantime, I'll crack on with this and uh, 
Hopefully when this is all over, we'll see you on the trails. And I just hope there will be better times coming this year. And I really hope next time I will talk with you, it will be directly on an event. Kind of uplifting to see old friends reach out and I've talked to friends I haven't talked to in like 10 years. So through all this madness, I think there's been some positivity and hopefully uh, we get back to the racing and um, yeah, see all you out there. See, I hope everybody's doing well all, over, all around the globe and I'm just sending lots of positive vibes uh, through this video, but also, you know, we can do it through social media and FaceTime and talk to your friends and people, stay, stay in contact with everybody. I think that's all you can do, you know, show that you're there, show your love and uh, hopefully we get back to our normal life soon. We can go out and shred those bikes again. Use this whole time to to learn more, learn more about yourself, learn how to cook. I'm like cooking every day with my mom uh, or just maybe it's a time to pick up a new language to, to start learning for that next trip you're gonna plan now for when the lockdown's over. We all want this to end as soon as possible and we all have to do our part. Important to stay positive and know we're all in the same boat and we'll get through this together. All we can do is write this one out, uh, eat healthy, get our sleep so we're strong, and we're gonna battle this situation and this virus is gonna all work out. Staying happy, staying positive, I think that's the best we can do in the situation. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you're doing anything super fun or funny even, like, Hey, share it with us in the comments below. I have a lot of time right now, so chances are I'll be reading a lot of the comments and I'll be looking for ways to, you know, just stay entertained.